What's up? What's up? Good morning. It's Jordan with Martin Stock Club, Martin Investment Group. Let's go ahead and get into four stocks I'm looking at today to trade. Starting off with number one, Roku. Roku, uh, we see another move up. And it's it's kind of simple here. I'm looking for this clear path right back up to about 62. We see we had uh, 62, 62, and 62 over here, right? So making a new high today, looking at it carrying on up to 62. The high of yesterday was 60.50. So just coming in, setting an alert for 60.51. Uh, simple as that, or 60, 60, 60, uh, 60.55. Um, either one of those, five-minute hold over that. Um, should be able to go ahead and give us the clear way to go ahead and ride up to 62. QQQ, and these next charts are going to look kind of the same. Uh, so we got some dojis coming today on a lot of things related to tech. Uh, so we're going to look at those in a second. These are I'm all looking at the possibility for a reversal back down. Um, that's going to be a big trade. I think it could go either way, right? But either way, um, I like the trade back down because we could possibly print an evening star um, and then look at maybe swinging back down all right so here's a look at qqq i am going to slide out here um just so you see the bigger picture uh, you see that we did start making uh lower highs right or sorry higher lows here and here and then we do have lower highs or higher highs rather here and here all right so this is really us, us testing this previous resistance right we see resistance here here and now we're here again so not only is that a triple top but then we also have a doji. So that's part of the reason I'm looking at this flipping back down. We see it was resistance over here too, right? So breaking the low of QQQ from yesterday, which was 290.88, I'm looking at coming down to uh, maybe 286 if we can get some big move today like we got yesterday, if there's heavy volume in the market. So I'm just setting an alert for 290.85. So that could trigger for me to make sure I look at QQQ. Oh, all right. I think that's why my trading view kept saying that. Let's go look at XLK. It's pretty much more of the same. All right, same story, same concept. Uh, go ahead, breaking the low of this, right, which was 134.47. I'm going to go ahead and set it for 134.45. All right, looking at it coming down to about 132.10. Okay, and that's just because that's where a bunch of price is sitting at. So I figure it'll come around to where all this other price is at. All right, but we see it was also previously rejecting things over here. All right, rejection, rejection, right, rejection, rejection. Okay, and then uh, XLK. And that might be four tickets for the day, but more of the same, right? So we see it on Google. Boom, right? See it on XLK. The rejection, the doji, and then again, CL with the graystone doji at the supply. That's the one I really like. I really like this. Um, and we have that gap below that we can target. If I take it off of, um, if I take us off of extended hours, you can see that gap a little more clear. All right. So not only do we have this gap that we can target, but we also have a gap down here uh, on the swing trade. And I think if it's triggers, I'll probably take it for a swing. Not to mention, let's pop the RSI on there again. Don't do that too often. But we are overbought on the RSI. So, you know, usually overbought RSI can mean you can start looking for a potential head back down. All right. So that's something I'm going to be looking at. And those are the four stocks I'm trading. Boom. Hit the description. Go ahead, hop in the Discord. Trade with us. Seven-day free trial. Live trading, live classes, live help, live support. And hopefully y'all run it up today because yesterday was crazy. Peace. I'm out. Have a great day.